Hey what's happening guys welcome to TechMac 101 this video is regarding my previous video which is installing Kali Linux as a virtual machine using VirtualBox so today I'm gonna fix an error which you might get after installing Kali Linux which is VTX is disabled in BIOS for all CPU modes let's see the error So if you get this error, VTX is disabled in the BIOS for all CPU modes, there is nothing to worry about. This error can be fixed very easily. All you have to do is just enter the BIOS of your system through pressing the access key. So access key for different brand of PCs, laptops, motherboards will be different. So I'm gonna drop the link on the description below where you can check it out. What is the access key for entering the BIOS? So Let's move on to the BIOS part. Rest of the video I'm gonna record through my smartphone. Uh, so sorry for the low quality video. So let's move on. So guys here you can see that it is saying me to press delete or F2 to enter the BIOS. So I'm gonna press F2. So here it is. So I'm having ASUS Z270 motherboard. So uh, this is the UI of my ASUS Z270 motherboard BIOS. So the person whosoever is having ASUS Z270 motherboard will be having the same UI as I'm having right now. But if you are getting the different type of UI in your BIOS, there is nothing to worry about. You will get the different type of BIOS as you are having the different brand of PC or system or motherboard. So I'm gonna click on the advanced mode on the bottom right corner and uh, on the top you can see there is main AI filter and I'm gonna go to the advanced and uh, double click on the on CPU configuration and I'm gonna scroll down and here I can find that Intel virtualization technology is disabled so I'm gonna enable it and uh, go to the easy mode again and just click on save and exit so it is warning me whether i want to save the change i have made over here or not so i made the change over here is that intel virtualization technology was disabled before i have enabled it uh, so that i could uh, run kali linux without any error so let's move on to the next part and uh, see whether this fixed our error or not over here and now I'm gonna go to the virtual box and uh, just gonna start the Kali Linux to show you that the error is fixed so let me start it So here it is and it is asking me to enter the username. The username for Kali Linux is ROOT which is root and then press enter and the password is TOOR which is opposite of root and uh, then also press enter. So here it is guys, the Kali Linux started without any error which you might be getting previously. So thank you guys for watching. If this video solved your problem, do not forget to like my video or subscribe my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.